Hello and welcome to EV Talk. My name's Sly. I'm also known as Sly Fred on the Whirlpool forums. I'd like to show you how we charge our BYD Addo 3 with sunshine. Now I know you've seen or heard about this before, but have you actually seen how something like the Zappi 2 charger will reduce the charge to the car if there is a higher load in the home so that it doesn't pull extra power from the grid? that it truly only uses excess solar. Here is our Atto 3 sitting in our garage. We lovingly call our Atto 3 Llewellyn. Why Llewellyn? Well, if ever you watch Murdoch Mysteries, you'll know that uh, Llewellyn, Llewellyn Watts, is quite the character in that show and we thought it an appropriate name not only that but Robert Llewellyn from Fully Charged paying homage to Robert Llewellyn as well but Llewellyn Watts from Murdoch Mysteries that's the the main deal here and uh, I wanted to show what our state of charge is at the moment in the car and then we're going to have a go at charging her up and we've just by the way received an update so here we are We've only had the car two days, and there we are. We're up to it. the latest update that gives us navigation, which we haven't even tried yet, and Spotify and BYD Voice. So that's all going to be exciting to use. But right now, I wanted to have a look at where we are with our charge. And we are currently at 82%, I think. Yep, 82% and 397 on the so-called GOM. So how do we charge? Well fella on the wall here is the My Energy Zappy 2. I'll have to hit the menu button to turn the light on. And you might be able to see there that we're currently generating 3 odd kilowatts. And 2.7 of that is going to the grid. Very wasteful because we're only getting about 2.5 cents per kilowatt there. So we want to use that up somehow. But if I plug the car in with this the car can pull up to 7 kilowatts. So does that mean we're going to be pulling the remaining 4 from the grid? Well, we don't want to do that because this thing is set up to only scavenge excess solar. And you see that set setting there, Eco Plus? That means only when we have excess solar will we direct it to the car. So I'm going to do that. Let's see what happens. And then we're going to put a load in the house. We're going to turn the kettle on. Did you want a coffee? Aha! Speaking my language. But not just yet, thanks, hun. Okay. We're going to plug the car in first. So ask me again in just a couple of seconds. Okay. A couple of minutes. Okay. All right. So let's see. Remember, we're 3.1 generation. And we're about to pick up the cables and plug her in. And I shall be back in a moment. So I've just plugged Llewellyn in, and what do we have? All right, she's thinking about it. She's working on it, and look, almost all the power is going. Now, I've got to say, initially you may find even more power will go to the car than what we're generating. It does that to figure out, oh, am I allowed to pull this much from the grid? But it looks like it's already worked it out pretty quick. Uh, as you'll see, there's 3 kilowatts generated, 2.4 going to the car, and only 0.4 to the house, and none being sucked in from the grid. We are not paying for any of this electricity. Let's see what the car is showing us. Let's, oh. let's, yes, hun? I, I, did you want a coffee? I still put the kettle on. Um, yes, yes, give it a second. I'm not quite ready yet. No worries, <laughs> I'll hang on. Right, so here we have what the car is telling us. We're at 82% as we saw before, and we're pulling in 2.2 .2 kilowatts. Is that what we were seeing on the Zappi 2? Let's double check. And we have 2.5. It was just 2.4 as I hit the screen and it went to 2.5. So now we're not putting a lot into the car. It's a nice steady amount and it's just excess solar. It's great. Over the next couple of days, it just grabs what it can. Today's quite a sunny day. so. Uh, it had some good chance of powering up, but it's, uh, it's late in the afternoon. 
So what if we put the kettle on now? Zed's been asking me if I want to have a cuppa, so why don't we do that and watch what happens now. What we should be seeing, what we should be seeing, yes, thanks, hon. Thank you. What we should be seeing when the kettle goes on is the consumption in the house go up and still not pull anything from the grid. So let's see what will happen. Oh, we're pulling a little bit from the grid. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's because it's trying to work it out which way, which way. What am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be doing? We come down, look at the car dropping down 1.2 kilowatts. And look at the house, 2.7. So we're way above what we're generating on solar. Oh, and the car's decided to pause. See that? That's a pause symbol. It's saying, if I keep going, I'm going to end up pulling stuff from the grid, and we know we don't want to do that. So instead, it pauses. And look what it says, waiting for surplus. So once there's excess solar, we'll start charging again. And what does the car have? Oh. Actually, there's an interesting little symbol there. Every time we park in the garage, we get that uh, message up saying LDWS is something or other. Now, oh, there it is, is limited. Yeah, lane keeping. Yeah, I think there would be limited parked in the garage. So uh, there you go. So it reckons that there's no charging going on. Too bloody right. So, tea, coffee, or bonnocks? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, have, I'll have a cup of bonnocks, thanks, okay. honey. <laughs> All right, Han, yep. could you turn the kettle off, please? No worries. Thank you. Now let's see what happens. Keep a watch. Kettle is about to be turned off. How long will it take for the car to start charging again? There you go. You can quickly see the kettle has gone off. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, it says there's surplus now. Not enough surplus to keep the lights on on the unit, obviously. And there's a countdown over the car. Does that mean it's counting down to charging? Yes. And there she goes, up and running. And see how it initially draws more and it pulls a little bit from the grid? It needs some current to flow to be able to measure it and to eventually balance everything out. But for those few seconds, those few milliseconds, I don't think it's an issue. I like the way it balances things out and decides what's what. So there you go. So that's how we charge up the Atto 3 with sunshine. Thanks for coming. Say goodbye, Zed. Goodbye, Zed. Coffee? Wait a minute. Didn't Zed ask before if I wanted a Bonox? I think I said Bonox. Bugger. I thought I was going to get a Bonox.